online groceries. So, water for days. I swiping for days. Let's go now some play the show.
Everybody's excited about the release of the Google Pixel, a new phone that is in direct competition uh, with the iPhone 7, but also with uh, every other Android phone. Google released it in the perfect time because all the Android fans, they, they all buy, the only company making money is Samsung. And um, uh, everybody's buying Galaxies and Note, and now that they are all going in flames and that uh, Samsung has lost a lot of brand value, it was a perfect time for the iPhone to be released. It's like giving them an auto route, but then the Pixel is perfect because all the people who want an Android phone can now have a great phone. The, the thing is this, when Google started Android, their goal was to make a completely open system in comparison to the Apple closed system. Uh, so, you know, anybody could do an app store, anybody could root their phone, and in, like the, in the Apple world, uh, if you want to really change the inside of your phone, you have to go jailbreak it, and etc, etc. In Android, it's completely different. And uh, a lot of people like it, like this, this freedom, but the, but the problem of uh, the fact that Android being completely open source and everybody can take the whole system and fork it into something else is that Google realized that uh, they're losing complete control. Actually, that, that was a philosophy. The problem is that Samsung got so powerful that actually, to a lot of people, Android equals Samsung. So you completely losing control when you want, for example, to enforce some new things on your system Samsung can remove them and, and use their own thing. And uh, in my opinion, the real thing behind this uh, is trying to get control, trying to become a little bit more like Apple for Google because they realize that when you give up the control of everything, then everybody do what they want. The Google Assistant thingy is only part of if you buy a pixel phone the unlimited uh, uh, photo storage which is a, which this, this is great iPhone should really copy this uh, then all these uh, things you get if you buy pixel is an incentive to really buy the Android phone uh, and this is really a change of philosophy from Google where they were they went from listen we just make the system and you go run with it, now they're going completely vertical. They go from making the, the system, the features, the Google services, and the phone. So they get you and then they give you the internet services that goes only with your phone. So it's a way of trapping people in the way Apple does. So this is very interesting, but I, I think more than trying to, to compete with Apple, the real competitor for Google in my opinion, is Samsung. There's a, these, so Apple got Siri and uh, Google got Google Assistant, but Samsung bought what? They bought Vive, which is another assistant. So Samsung is, is slowly using Android to create their own stack software and uh, the, 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 all the services will be uh, Samsung services. So. Samsung is doing the, the Samsung Pay. Now they're gonna have the Viva system. They, they, they have the whole system on top of their phones. And uh, it's dangerous for Google because Google doesn't make money from the operating system. They make money from the services that you use on top of it and the publicity that they're serving you. But if, if Samsung makes a phone that brings nothing in terms of money to, to Google, well, they're fucked. So I really think this is a, a strat strategic move from, from Google to make sure that Samsung is not gonna eat their lunch.